Alright, um, so I recently did a video on how to fight as Carno and fight a Utah, so now I'm going to do how to fight a Carno as a Utah instead of fighting a Utah as a Carno. So I'm going to list the pros and cons of Utah because there are many of both. So the pros are it has very good maneuverability, so its turn radius is good and it's a decent speed um, and also that those are for um, movement it's got a very good alt attack where it 360 tur t turns to um, whatever you're fa wherever you're facing so not 360 180 but um, so if I hold alt and press left click I turn around and attack and then obviously you have the pounce and um, yeah so those are some of the pros and uh, also it's very good for running away you can go into a bush change direction and so yeah those are some pros um, some cons are it is not as fast as Carno so um, you know Carno if Junior chases me Carno is way faster and if it rams, then it, you're basically dead unless you don't turn. Um, and then for... Also, it's got very low health. 450 kilograms is 450 health, because that's how the health system is based. And we do 55 damage. Um, so, you know, if a Carno bites you about three times, you're basically dead. If they get good bites, tail bites, it, they can bite you up to like five times or something. Um, but obviously the Utah makes up for that in agility and turn radius. So those are some uh, downsides. And also, a tip for when a Carno is charging at you. Now, Junior won't actually charge. He'll just run at me. But say he's charging. So if Junior starts chasing me, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to turn and go this way. That's going to cause him to slide right there. He slid. And that co and if he does it again and I turn, he's he's going to slide. Well, that was that was bad, but he he would slide and in that window the Carno is temporarily stunned. So if I slide, it's not as apparent as Utah, but if you do it on Carno, um it it's it like makes them freeze for a second and that gives you time to change your direction run in a different direction so if you're ever running for a Utah or a Carno or fighting a Carno that is what you're gonna want to do so then we can obviously go over the basics if there's a Carno and you want to hold you want to hold right click not press right click I've seen a lot of Utah's do this they press right click to pounce so if junior just stands still and I pr hold right click I pounce and this will waste my stamina and you want to jump off at about 20 percent stamina so that's about uh, where the line is right at where the paw the little fingers meet where the paw starts um, you're gonna want to jump off so you have stamina to run away and move around um, also when you are pouncing if he starts bucking or they start bucking uh, you are going to want to get off so this my stamina is going down super fast so you see it's already really low from just like a couple of seconds of bucking so if they start bucking and they know how to buck you gotta be careful because I would suggest not fighting a Carno who knows how to buck technically because uh, it's extremely hard and you can't get good pounces also um, if uh, Junior stands up and you want to go for bites you're not going to want to go for bites right here. He can just bite me. You're going to want to go for at the tail. And when you're going for at the tail, you're going to want to look up. So, like this. And I'm bad at Utah. But there. You see, it hits him. And he can all bite. But, luckily it didn't hit me. But, um, you got to be careful about that too. So, I would suggest pouncing you don't do a lot of bite force, only 55 compared to Carno's 1800 health, so um, that too. So um, those are some tips for Utah. I would not solo a Carno. Um, it's very hard, especially if the Carno knows what they're doing. And um, just generally fighting a Carno as a Utah is hard. Uh, but, you know, 
it it's a lot of fun, and Utah doesn't take that long to grow. Um, also, a lot of things I've seen Utah's doing lately, not as much before, like update three and stuff. They would like go like this and jump and bite over the Carno. Like, don't do that. Like, um, if the Carno's standing up and you jump and like bite right here, you will get hit by their hitbox, and then that leaves me open to getting bit a bunch. And also, when you're pouncing a Carno, um, try only to pounce when the Carno standing still, or at least moving around slightly, and that, like, so if jo Junior's running right now, and I try pouncing him, you know, like, I'm, I'm totally not gonna pounce him, because he's moving, and he's way faster, and it's just not gonna happen, so if he's just standing still, and I'm like, say there's, there's a bush right here, and I'm, I run out, and he no just notices me, and then I pounce him, so you always want to make sure you're gonna have a very high chance of success in your pounce, because if you don't, then it's most likely not going to end too well for you and end in another hour of growing another Utah, or you just rage quitting. So, um, Junior and I are going to play fight right now, because, you know, just to show you how I would, uh, do it. Even though I would not do it, but if you were going to take on a Carno solo and you're a daredevil like that, then uh, yeah, and also, I'd want to kill this Utah, so, um, we're gonna fight now. And, mind you, I'm very, not very good at Utah. Yep, you see, I died. But I did get some bites off, and I would not suggest biting, I was just low on stamina, so I was biting. Um, and, once again, shout out to the, uh, Land Topia server and the Hyperbolist for letting us uh, be grown on this. And as always, shout out to Junior for taking his time and helping me. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.